not exactly sure who all the tacked ones are going out to, but I figure I'll do a couple of notes here and probably make this available as a more of a private video for uh, as follow up or whatever. But anyway, um, back here I've got the cup tacked in in three places. What I typically did before is I would fuse weld this, and then I would come around the back side and weld this with uh, filler rod. Okay, down in the uh, down there. Uh, I've tacked it together in three spots here. That should be plenty strong enough to keep it and hold it in shipping and everything like that. And still in areas where you can cut it apart if you need to. I don't know why you would, but uh, just in case. I don't want to, you know, try to come in here and tack weld it down inside the corner here. Because uh, you're going to have a royal nightmare of a time trying to break that spot weld if you had to. Uh, so they're lined up pretty nice, everything like that. Now, I haven't got them cut yet, but uh, this is just some little eighth inch by half inch. And I'm going to cut these up to roughly the, the right lengths. I haven't, I haven't quite decided yet. Maybe what I'll do is I'll just, you know, send you with like two six inch sticks or whatever, and you can cut them to exactly what you want them for. But what I do is after I'm done welding down inside the pocket here, I'll put these... You know, I'll take a piece of that long or whatever, lay it down over there, and then I'll weld it. And that becomes a bridge and a, a gusset, you know, like a flat gusset there to help make sure that uh, this joint is just super strong. Same thing on the inside here. And if it's fully welded, I really, I, it's your call at that point. You really don't need it, especially when you figure that uh, both sides of this are fully welded. And then this plate is going to be getting welded on there too. Okay. Uh, so, for me, I put that in there just as added security because I would much rather way overbuild this stuff so that uh, in case anything happens, somebody doesn't point their finger at me and say, oh, eh. Anyway, I think you get the idea. Uh, it, it doesn't really matter exactly where this goes on here. This hole is in here to make it easier to get at the bolt, the nut, for underneath the, the link, okay, the sway bar link. You know, so don't don't put it on like this, or you'll never get to that that bolt. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly in any spot. Obviously, you don't want to put it like this and not be able to weld that. Uh, you don't want to put it way the hell out here because then it's going to get in the way of your getting your ball joint in and out and everything. Now that I think about it, I think I was putting them like that. I I don't know if that causes a problem with the ball joint or not because I don't send them with the ball joint in because. Uh, uh, when you go to weld that, I don't want it getting too hot around here or whatever. So, so actually, yeah, right about there, it's probably going to be about right. And left and right, um, centered is fine. Yeah, fairly centered is good. You can you can be the judge on that. I'm kind of torn with uh, tacking that on because then you've got to cut it off to finish welding the bottom. And I think it's really kind of easy enough. Yeah, I, I was thinking, okay, I'll tack it on so that you know the position for it, and then you can just line the tacks back up. But the reality is, is I, I think you get the idea here. Don't put it too far this way, or it'll get in the way of your ball joint. Um, keep it over the hole. You know, if you put it over that way too far, you're going to start losing some hole space and stuff like that. So, you know, you can pretty much put that hole flush with the edge of the inside of the arm there. Bring it up against the end here. And I think that's that's probably uh, probably going to be really nice. Since this goes on here, like that, this goes on, um, let's see here, that's the front, so the tension rod goes in the, in the front. So that's basically going to go on like that, because it's going to point up toward the radiator mount. Which, remember, this is upside down. I, I could tack this in place, but since this isn't mounted, once you get this mounted, then you can put this on your frame, mount your tension rod up, and and then tack this in. Because if you if you tack it in up here, it, it's going to push your arm back way too far. It's not going to fit your tension rod in there. Uh, likewise, if you pull it back too far. So this will vary, uh, typically only about a quarter inch or so. Um, but it's best if you put your new bushings in here first 
and then uh, bolt it all up and everything and then hold the arm on the frame at roughly your ride height because that can affect this angle and then once you get it there then I just use a I just use one of these speed clamps basically uh, while it's on there hold it into position and the arm is going to hold it in this relationship okay once you get to that tension rod on there um, this will just be to hold it up against the plate and then you can just put a couple tacks on it take it out and do all your final welding on it a bit more involved having to do it that way but it it will be the most accurate best way to get this in proper position okay um, that's I, I originally before I used to have a tab on the bottom here and I had a slot laser cut in here and come to find out that uh, there really wasn't any good way to predict that okay every frame's got a slight tweak kind of thing after 40 plus years of abuse um, depending on exactly where this goes will also depend you know that'll move this around and while you're at it your decision this is strong enough the way it is because these are just gussets kind of thing there's still at least an eighth of an inch there but you can you can finish weld that in if you want um, kind, of, kind of your call on that uh, part of the reason for the discount is so that I have to do as little welding as possible so I'm just uh, trying to give you a heads up of how these pieces fit together I can tack them but you'd have to cut them apart to get at the pieces underneath blah 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 that kind of thing and if I put these on you're gonna have to cut them off because guaranteed they're not gonna match up perfectly with your tension rod and everything so so this arm is done ready to go I didn't know exactly how whether you wanted this left in here to help reinforce or cut all the way out or whatever so you can in, and just in case you decided to go to coil overs instead of your bags I know you're gonna go bags um, with bags you're probably gonna have to get in here and possibly cut out some of the steering stop anyway so you can just slice those off wherever you want them uh, the rest of the guys I'm gonna have to cut the nut off here and then weld the reinforcement tabs on here for the ones that get tacked and out the door they'll just get tacked in three places and they can get finish welded uh, by the customer okay uh, I think that's it for right now